So hi dear Virgo, a very very good morning to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Virgo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 22nd till the end of April. So let's start. Roles can be reversed anytime, honey. So take it how it resonates with you. If it is not resonating with you, please don't try to fit yourself in this forcibly. Okay? Don't force yourself to fit in this. Virgo, let's see your partner's current feelings for you right now. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see what is happening. King of Cups. Wow, somebody loves you. Okay, this person loves you and this is the highest level of love that you can expect from a person, right? So somebody is deeply in love with you, might be they are not telling you this, might be they are not very verbal about this, might be not very expressive about this, but somebody does love you a lot. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Let me clarify the King of Cups as the feelings for you. This is a beautiful card that I got for you. Five of Cups and the Fool and the Three of Swords. Oh my God, somebody's hiding their love for you. They're hurt. Somebody's deeply, deeply hurt, Virgo, and they are regretting what they did with you. They're regretting they're missing you. They are expecting for a new start, brand new beginning with you to take the leap of faith with you, but that is not happening and that is why this person is completely heartbroken, completely shattered. And now this person is feeling all the love of the universe for you because they, are, they have realized what they have done with you. You know, they are realizing the sad part. They are realizing how they have hurted you. How much they caused, how much heartbreak, heart, heart pain they had caused you in the past. So that is why when things are happening with them, now they are feeling the love. Now they are experiencing the love that, do, that you, used to, uh, uh, you used to give them in the past. Okay, so I do see somebody regretting something, somebody missing you very badly. Somebody wants to have a brand new start with you, but they're completely heartbroken, completely shattered, might be because of third person, might be because of somebody else. But now they are realizing how much love you have given them and now they are respecting the love, you know. Now they have emotions for you. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, let's see what you feel for this person, Virgo. Your feelings for them. Ten of Swords in Reverse. So, Ten of Swords in Reverse or Upright Position doesn't make any difference. But yeah, I do see that you, from your side, you feel like uh, things have ended and now you have started your life, restarted your life again. But, so Ten of Swords is made by Nine of Swords plus the Ace of Swords. So, you were very stressed. You were very, very stressed because of this person. You were losing your sleep. You felt like back, backstrapped, betrayed. And they, they uh, made you feel like shit with yourself. But the thing is, the major transformation in your life, ha uh, ha you know, happened because of this person. And now, when you are feeling like things have ended, still you feel like a connection with this person. All the things have ended, still you have a connection with this person. You feel a connection with this person. You are not able to let go of this completely, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse for you as your feelings for them. You are not able to let go of this person, honey. Even if you say, no ma'am, it's not like that. I am over this. No, you are not. So let me see. Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. See, you are waiting for this person, honey. Cancer, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So Virgo, what is happening is you are ready to put in the effort and put in the energy in this connection. And you tried your best to move on. But again, see, this person is trying to move on. But somebody is coming, running back to the same position that they used to be in. At, in, at, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I do see that you are still very much connected to this person. You want to put in the effort, put in the energy in this connection. You want to have a fast forward movement in this connection, you know. And you want to, for some of you, you literally want to fuck this person. For some of you. And for others of you, you want to take an action towards this person. Because you feel still there is, this is not the ending of this chapter. This is not over. There is something left. So I must take some kind of action. So you're constantly thinking about this, you know, constantly thinking about this in your mind that I should take some kind of action because this is not over yet. This is over, but this is not over. Okay, got it. You are in dilemma, you are, in, you are very, very confused and conflicted regarding this situation, right? But the other person is going through a major heartbreak, major transformation. 
you know you tried your best to move on but you are still stuck on that person coming back again and again to the same situation in circles you are running in circles honey okay let's see what this person wants from you yeah let's see what this person wants from you eight of wands communication this person wants to have back and forth communication with you they want to open up with you they want to tell you exactly what they are feeling exactly how they are feeling and this is not just a, a single word or two words or two sentences kind of uh, uh, communication that they want with you they want to have lots of communication back and forth communication clear the air with you clear the picture with you what the actual heck is happening this is what they want let me clarify fast and fo forward movement in this connection all the fiery energy of the universe is here today with earth signs what is happening in the Taurus reading we got all the all the fucking wants what happened I don't know that was weird I have never done a reading like this in my life till now yeah let's see the lovers the queen of wands and the magician yeah so this person wants to talk to you about a decision that is yet to yet to be finalized between you and this person this person is highly highly attracted to you see the the lovers with the queen of wands somebody is very attracted to you somebody is manifesting this communication somebody is manifesting you back in their life so when uh, the moment you left virgo or the moment that uh, you decided that you are going to walk away from this connection or in any circumstances the connection was not working out so i do see now this person wants to communicate with you because they are finding you very very attractive and they can't resist you and they are manifesting a communication with you they're manifesting communication with you they're like for some of you you are manifesting the communication and if you're manifesting this this is about to happen don't give up just keep going honey keep going you know this is going to help you a lot and in the reiki level one master class i'm going to teach you the manifestation process as as well with healing manifestation is very very easy right so i'm going to teach you that as well so you can join that if you want yeah so for, uh, for uh, this person what they want from you lots of back and forth communication they are manifesting a communication with you they are very very highly attracted towards you and they want uh, to take a solid decision regarding this connection you know this is what i'm getting here right now i don't see any third party situation here so so i'm so sorry so i just feel plain and simple manifestation going on lustful energy the lovers is lust plus love both and the decision making three so yes decision making is pending here and they want to have a communication with you aries leo sagittarius gemini cancerian let's see what you want from this person virgo knight of wands oh uh, this is king of wands king of wands you want to take unnecessary risk you want this person to take risk and come back to you and talk to you and take some kind of fucking action towards you because they are lacking action because there in there is inaction they are waiting for you to take the action you are waiting for action from their side there's there's some kind of blockages see the thing is might be there's someone between you guys and that is why the connection is blocked but trust me i feel like if you are going to take action or if they are going to take action any one of you are going to take action things can be healed so yeah you want action you want action from their side you want this person to open up to you tell you exactly how they feel for you tell you exactly how much attracted they are towards you and uh, how they feel for this particular connection and where it is going right now hell lot of wands again for virgo as well what is happening with earth signs today king of wands let's clarify the king of wands Oh my god four of wands and the judgment and the nine of cups yeah you want this person to take an action towards a commitment okay you want this person to uh, give this another chance give you commitment nothing but commitment and stability and you want uh, to forgive and forget the past and uh, you want this person to make you really happy pamper you make you really really happy by giving you the commitment okay now what is uh, happening here is that uh, for some of you you guys are already in connection already in communication but you are not getting the commitment from this person and that is why things are blocked you know and that is why you want this person to take some kind of action regarding this commitment fuck commitment is very very important for our science right i can understand because they are fixed and you have a notion that if it is not committed relationship if it is not commitment if it is not marriage this is not going anywhere and i'm not into this shit this is your perception right 
So yes, you want an action from this person side and the action should be commitment, nothing less than commitment and you want to forgive and forget about the past situation and you want to be happy with this person again because this person seems to be your wish fulfillment. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, let's see what is happening between you and them till the end of April. What to expect from this connection till the end of April. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You can expect a brand new offer coming your way from this person or it could be a new person adding up in your life but I have to clarify this uh, Ace of Pentacles because I do see reconciliation because Judgment card is here and uh, Knight of Wands action card is also here. Three of Swords is here. This is the main thing. Somebody is hurt here. Somebody is hurt because it might be you or because it might be somebody else but now they are realizing the love for you. So it could be the blockage. Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords and Ace of Pentacles again and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Somebody is going to be very clear and honest with this uh, offer that is coming your way. Ace of Pentacles twice means Something solid is coming your way, but you will be confused. You will be like, I don't want it. I want commitment. Fucking commitment. I don't want this offer. I don't want this friendship. So you will be very clear and honest with them that I don't want a shit from you apart from the commitment. So if you're not ready for commitment, just get out of this relationship period. This is what is happening. So you will be very confused with this offer. You will be like, where it is going? Again, the same game will start. Again, the circle will start. So it's like, Confusing for you, but I do see somebody coming with an offer towards you Now it's up to you. It's a free will uh, what you're gonna do about it. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye. Bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste. Bye